Trevor Reed is with me now. And Trevor, thank you for your time. And it's good to talk to you today. I read where you said your message is that more needs to be done. Like what, Trevor? Uh, <clears throat> so there's uh, over 65 Americans who are wrongfully detained uh, around the world. So the Biden administration is is obviously working uh, to get Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner home, um, which I support that. And I'm grateful that they're doing that. I think that they've been surprisingly transparent with that. Uh, with that interest, but uh, there is, you know, dozens of, of other Americans who are being held uh, overseas in multiple countries, and I hope that the administration will continue to to work to get those Americans out as well. Yeah. Trevor, what were conditions like for you for three years there? Yeah, it's, uh, it's terrible there, obviously. Uh, you know, the food that you're getting is extremely poor quality um, and the forced labor camp I refused to work so I was being punished uh, by by being put in solitary confinement that consists of basically just a, a concrete room uh, I slept on the floor for most of my time there uh, you have one hour a day um, where you can walk inside a small concrete room it's about the size of a, of a large closet uh, you know, I had uh, malnourished, malnutrition. Uh, when I came back, I was 130 pounds. Um, I've regained about wow. 60 pounds since I've been home in that time. That's unbelievable. They, they, they accused you of getting rough with a police officer in Moscow. But um, you fought that and lost uh, for three years. But I read where you said that you didn't want to hear any news about a potential release for yourself in captivity. How come? Yeah, I, uh, I asked my family to, you know, to not uh, give me any information um, involving any type of potential release or, uh, or a trade or any, any type of, of optimistic information like that because I didn't want the Russian government to be able to take that from me. So to me, I wanted to kind of have this wall up and protect myself from any type of, of you know, potential pain or uh, disappointment. So I asked them not to do that, but they, they didn't listen to me. Oh, I can imagine. I have about 15 seconds left. Should we swap a convicted arms dealer for Americans held there against their will? I believe so. I believe in this case that it's uh, worth it and that trade is is probably, you know, to the benefit of the United States more than it is to Russia. Victor Boot has already sat 20 years in U.S. prison and Paul Whelan, uh, you know, has 13 years left in prison and he's innocent. Brittany Griner, we don't know how long she has, but obviously she's going to have a large sentence as well. So I believe in this case yeah. that it's definitely worth it. and. Uh, I hope that they consider that with other Americans as well. Trevor, it's good to see you. You look well, you look healthy. Thank you for sharing your story. Trevor Reed. Thank you.